What if you had a two terabit per second link inside your home PC? That's what's coming down the road with PCI Express 7.0, which will deliver 256 gigabytes per second of bandwidth in one direction on an X16 link. By contrast, the PCI Express 4.0 slots that many of you have in your computers today only support an eighth of that. But even those current speeds have no problem supporting the bandwidth needs of an RTX 4090. So what on earth do we need eight times as much for? And how do they keep cramming more speed into those little slots anyway? To start, PCI Express 7.0 uses the same PAM4 signaling seam that was introduced with version 6.0. We explained it in a bit more detail in that video, but long story short, PAM4 uses four voltage levels rather than two to encode data, meaning it can send two bits per cycle instead of the usual one. But if it uses the same encoding scheme, how is it double the speed? Well, the answer seems fairly straightforward, a doubling of the frequency. However, when you're pushing that much data down the pipe at once, maintaining good signal integrity becomes a real challenge. You can't just go around having errors left and right. PCI Express 6.0 introduced some error correcting features alongside PAM4 so that it would actually be, you know, usable, but at the speeds PCIe 7.0 is trying to push, manufacturers will likely have to make improvements to the actual physical layer. This could take the form of anything from better materials like more robustly built PCBs to optical solutions that offer better signal integrity than copper. In fact, the PCI Special Interest Group, or PCI SIG, an industry association that's responsible for developing the PCI Express standard, has already formed an optical work group to make sure the PCI 7.0 spec, as well as future revisions, will actually be feasible. This even includes using full-on cables instead of copper traces in some situations. But why is there a need for that much bandwidth? We'll tell you right after we thank the sponsor of this video, Delete Me, the pros at keeping your personal stuff, well, personal. Keeping your family's online life private isn't just about you, it's a team effort. And that's why Delete Me now has family plans to cover everyone. Each family member gets their own personalized data cleanup, making sure that all that private info stays private. From the kids to the grown-ups, they've got everyone protected from online snoops and scams. And managing it all is easy peasy, giving you peace of mind. Head on over to the video description to check out Delete Me today. With high-end PCI Express 5.0 X4 SSDs that you can actually go and buy right now, you're already getting up to 16 gigabytes per second of speed in one direction. And there's a good chance you already know even high-end modern graphics cards aren't suffering because current PCIe revisions on motherboards are fast enough to not cause bottlenecks. This means that PCIe 7.0 will initially be aimed more at data centers. For example, making 800 gigabit ethernet more accessible is a major goal of the PCI SIG, and it hopes to do this with PCIe 7.0. Although you likely aren't going to be running ethernet speeds of that magnitude in your home rig anytime soon, connections that fast are going to become important for allowing data centers to support all the load we're putting on them with cloud and AI applications. Whether it's something straightforward, like simply being able to deliver tons of high-res video at once, or GPU frames for cloud gaming services, or more complex stuff like AI for self-driving cars, language processing, or medical diagnostics. And Ethernet isn't the only connection type that PCIe 7.0 can help enable. There's also a standard called Compute Express Link, or CXL, which runs on top of the PCIe physical layer and can be used for a large number of use cases, notably adding more RAM. With the applications we mentioned demanding not just more speed, but also more memory capacity, CXL over PCIe 7.0 looks to become an easy way for data centers to significantly increase how much RAM they can fit into a server. We likely won't see products featuring PCIe 7.0 until the latter part of the decade, probably 2027 at the earliest, and if you're waiting for a PCIe 7 SSD to pop into your PC, it will likely be even longer than that which is unfortunate for those of you who are very concerned about saving an extra second or two on load times in your favorite game. But you know what? That's a great time to pet the cat. Stop ignoring the cat. It's a living being. It needs love. But I love that you watched this whole video. Thanks for that. Like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it. Check out our video on PCI Express 6. Comment below with video suggestions and don't forget to subscribe and follow. It'll do yourself a favor.